Greetings, greetings, everyone. Greetings, welcome, welcome to another episode of Brown Girls Are Beautiful. I am your hostess, CEO, and founder of BGAV, Brown Girls Are Beautiful, reporting to you live, everyone. So, what is today's topic, y'all? Today, this is the topic. We're going to be delving into Hassan Campbell a little bit, but we're also going to be talking about Cat Williams as well. Because I thought it was very interesting as I came across this video, and I'd like to share this with you all. So basically, let's, uh, let's get the party started, if you will. <laughs> all right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it, y'all. All right, so I came across this video and I'm gonna play it for you all. This is Hassan Campbell taking credit of the shrimp that he feels that he was the first one to expose the industry. He felt like he was the first person to expose the celebrities and this is why Cat Williams felt comfortable enough to do so, even though Cat Williams' career had started long before Cap, uh, Hassan Campbell was on YouTube. And I'm going to show you a video from 11 years ago where it looked like um, Cat Williams was actually being targeted because they tried to take his children from him, you all. So first of all, let's get into this <laughs> video of Hassan Campbell. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play this for you. If you were involved in a car accident, you were not at fault. You want to know why they're trying to fake my name out? Y'all going to tell me that Cat Williams did pull a Charleston White and a Hassan Campbell? Who's the originator of this shit? Me. So you want to tell me that? Yo, y'all going to Charleston White and Hills and all of them was getting All right, y'all, this is the part right here. This is the part was right all here. all over the place. People was growing their whole channel. Now, they're not. They're trying to fade my name out now. You want to know why they're trying to fade my name out? Y'all going to tell me that Cat Williams didn't pull a Charleston White and a Hassan Campbell? Who's the originator of this shit? Me. That's who. You gonna tell me that, yo, y'all gonna sit up there and tell me that Cat Williams didn't pull a Charleston White and a Hassan Campbell? That nigga shook, yo, he shook this internet. He shook this, yo, he shook the internet with my whole recipe. But the only difference is he got all the receipts. I could have never did it the way he did it. Cat Williams shook the internet on a whole new level. I'm reaching. Who was the only nigga on this internet for seven years going against this whole in industry? And the only other person that went against the industry was Charleston White. That's what put Charleston White on my level. The only two dudes that was going at the industry was me and Charleston White. The only dude that was exposing the industry and these rappers is me for seven years straight. Charleston White came after me. Don't never try to rob me of my credit. Take the what and leave the what? Who got the most slogans being quoted on the internet? Me. That's who. <laughs> who brought the who? Who created the whole dirty section on the internet? Me. That's who. Who brought all the rappers? <laughs> Remember, they was too good to do interviews. Who got all the rappers wanting to be bloggers right now? You got Mano. He had Kitchen Talk. Kitchen Talk couldn't survive. So now he went over the Hot 97 with Angela Yee because his numbers couldn't mess with my numbers. I was killing them. Killing them. Take the what? Is this the illest nigga? Here we the illest nigga over here. Yeah. Yeah. And all the people that's been supporting me, take your props because I wouldn't be nowhere without y'all. Even the haters. They tell y'all to stop watching, but they can't stop watching. Yeah. That's what I'm telling y'all. We got 1,100 likes in the first 10 minutes of this video. Hit that like button 
Let's catch up to that 2,400 people that's in the building right now, and let's see if that number jump how far. Let's see how number the how, how how high that number jump. Cause the reality of it is, man, I told y'all, these dudes, these other YouTubers are scared to death of me. The big. All right, y'all. So there you have it. Hassan Campbell basically tries to take credit for exposing the industry and the rappers um, before Cat Williams did it. Now I'm going to show you a video of Cat Williams. And in this video, it's going to say 11 years ago. Okay. So 11 years ago, Hassan Campbell was not on YouTube, to my knowledge. And also... Yeah. Also, um, I don't even think we knew who who Hassan Campbell was. So let's see if we can find this video because they were messing with Cat Williams a long time before this stuff took place on the internet, y'all. Let's see. Where's the video footage? Williams custody. I just had the video pulled up. Here it is. From an office. So Yo, man, K, you cool, man? How you doing? Oh, I'm tonight, cooler than man? a fan. My <laughs> they took my children from me. Yeah, I mean, how I was, terrible is that? Oh, I, I did want to ask. Um, the cops, are, you know, allegedly found some guns. And yeah, they always find guns. guns. I never leave without. My girlfriend. <laughs> I'm on the middle of an interview, sir. <laughs> Sorry about. It. They found guns and drugs. Now, is drugs. That, that that's what it was reported. Sir, you can look at my paperwork. There was no drugs. <laughs> Weed is not a drug. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, okay. do you think that's uh, safe for kids to be around guns and stuff like that? I mean, I'm just curious. How do you keep this kid safe without guns? They were in a lockbox that the police broke. Oh, okay, yeah. I I'm mean, saying, hey, if the police come in and raid my place and break into my gun boxes, you're going to find guns. But these aren't... Well, I'm not in a gang. What difference does it make? Now, now, you, you were actually stopped for this and let go. Because you have a license for no, it, No, right? this is their ninth time coming to my house. The problem was this time they came to my office and took my kids from an office. Not from my house, from an office. So now when I can't have my kids at my office... That's an issue. I must be yeah, yeah, the definitely. most terrible black dude. <laughs> because here's the whole thing. You're going to charge me with child endangerment? After I adopted seven children and had them for 14 years in this, in this uh, state? Really? You coming after my kids now? Because it was already a witch hunt. Now you want my babies? Yikes. That's that's wild, man. That's wild, cat. Yeah. Now, now, I mean, shit. I, I'm sure you want this year to go. Thank you, baby. I'm sure you want this year to finish up, man. It, it, do you have any resolutions or something you might do different next year? Yeah, I'm going to be white next time. <laughs> <laughs> shit. In my next life, I'm Caucasian, and I ain't taking no for an answer. Uh, hey, let me explain something to you. Um... I know it's people doing poorly in this country. Yeah. And they shot Trayvon Martin dead for looking kind of like I look. Yeah. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X ended up dead for sure. telling the truth. So as a comedian, I don't think it won't happen to me. I think they've thrown me in jail 36 times in 36 months, and I think I, you've never seen me in a court of law. That means they're effing with me. And today, they crossed the line. Because now they took my babies. All right, man. Well, Cat, yep. we wish you luck, man. And luck is unnecessary. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, brother. Now, needless to say, he did look bewildered in that footage. He looked disheveled. He did look like he had been through something. If someone takes your children... Um, unexpectedly, how would you look as a parent? So, you know, there's some validity to what Cat Williams was stating because 
to go as far as taking someone's children out of their custody, that's, that sends a very strong message and a very strong statement. And like I said, the video clip was actually posted 11 years ago. So 11 years ago, you can do the math. I don't believe Hassan Campbell was even on the internet, on YouTube 11 years ago. So when he said that he was exposing the industry before Cat Williams, I would beg to differ. So you all, that is all that I have for today. This has been an episode of Yours Truly, Brown Girls Are Beautiful. I will be back on later. You all have a good night and as always, continue to walk in your divinity. Signing out. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Tinker Tink, y'all.